I just think anyone that um, wants to jump in and start weight training, obviously it's a great way to keep fit. Um, well, I think the main thing is to just lift weights you know, within your limits and within your range, especially to start off with, just to see where you're comfortable and it gives yourself a little bit of a base uh, base marker, I guess, so you can see if you're uh, gradually getting stronger as the training progresses. We train pretty hard here. Uh, obviously, our uh, head of performance, Alex Corbo, has got us on a pretty tight ship, so uh, we tend to train uh, muscle groups um, sort of together, so we do you know, lower body um, in a single session, upper body the next session, but we also group uh, like a full body uh, workout together on a Wednesday, so we might do lower body Monday, upper body Tuesday, and then we'll do a full body, it's like a muscle conditioning sort of circuit, cross training circuit, I guess. I think if you're going to get some benefits, it's obviously important to um, to up your weights as you get stronger. Um, it's obviously a really good indication of, of your muscles, I guess, growing and strengthening and things like that. Well, I guess everyone's different. Some people want to put on weight, lose weight, maintain weight, um, you know, shred up. I don't know what you want to do. And there's so many different ideas out there at the moment in terms of you know weight training, cross training, zoo training, cardio. I think it's important that you, you tick off all boxes, I guess, especially when you're starting off, just so you don't, I guess, overload certain areas or only, you know, tick the, the major muscle groups. If you do, tend to do those full body workouts, at least you, you, you sort of touch in all areas of your body in terms of general strength and stability around your, around your joints. So I reckon it's best to start that way before you, you enter into some like, heavy lifting and like, isolation. Pushing yourself to fatigue, it depends what type of benefits you want to get of it, out of it, I guess. You know, I think it's important that you, if, you, if you're going to exercise, I guess you need to work hard so you can get some benefit out of it. So, um, you know, I don't want anyone, I don't think it's important that anyone collapses and needs help uh, after a training session. But, you know, as long as you can, you train to the best of your ability and you, your physical output is the best you can give. I mean, that's all anyone can ask for. That's what we ask for here. And uh, gradually you'll find that the, the harder you push yourself, the longer it will take um, to hit that barrier. Um, the more you train. To offset sort of muscle soreness, you, you can't sort of sit around and, and, and not do anything about it because it just tends to not go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, and as you get older, they get sore. Yeah, so I try to generally uh, get out of the house and be active with my kids and um, try and do some swimming, run around, kick the ball at the park and stuff like that. And uh, that generally does the trick. Does the trick.